Tis the season from Tinseltown. Hello, everybody. I'm Eric J. Chambers, and welcome to a very Cali Christmas. We're coming to you from the 89th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade in Hollywood, California. In this special, we'll show you highlights from the parade, including musical performances from Marie Osmond and Kimberly Locke. We'll take you to a dynamic drive through light show at the Orange County Fair. We'll hear some fond childhood Christmas memories from Shaquille O'Neal, Shante Moore, Jim Brown, Tina Knowles, Sugar Ray Leonard, and more. And we'll chat with Cheryl Underwood, Billy Davis Jr. and Marilyn McCoo, and Montel Williams. We'll have that plus more, but first, let's take a look at some of the festivities going on here on Hollywood Boulevard. Riding along with her is your co-host. Next time you're riding down the road in your actor, car. Actor Jerry O'Connor. Sing this to the Lord. Here is Cheryl You'll Underwood. get where you're going much faster. Come. Let us. Kneel down before him. Worship and adore him. Worship and adore him. Come on, say it again. Come. Come. Let us. Come, let us adore him. Kneel down before him. Kneel down before him. In your presence, Lord. Worship. Worship and adore him. Help me say. Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. If your friends who do to us gather near to us once more. Once again, everybody, I'm Eric J. Chambers. This is the Cut Chronicles as we're coming to you. From the 89th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade. Jerry O'Connell is with me. Jerry O'Connell from the talk is with me. Okay, that's where he is. Come on over here. Jerry O'Connell is with me. Jerry O'Connell from the talk is with me. Okay, hi, Jerry. I'm Eric J. Good to meet you, my man. This is the Cut Chronicles. That's right, where we chronicle urban life. So, how exciting is it for you, Cheryl, being the Grand Marshal here tonight? Well, you know what? It's it's about bringing people together. It's what makes this country great. It's what makes this community great. And all all kids should have a Merry Christmas, and that's why we support Marines Toys for Tots. And we just got a lot of big celebrities here. Jerry O'Connell from the top. Huge. Can you believe yes. this? How, how cool is this for you, Jerry? I am running security for Cheryl all night long. <laughs> you better keep your distance. He's hype man. He's hype man, security, everything. He's going to DJ, too. Okay. <laughs> Cheryl, so what was your reaction when you were called to ask if you would be the Grand Marshal? You know, I was aesthetic, but as you could tell from the way I'm dressed, I thought it was going to be colder. Yeah, well, it I mean, not, it's not it's really not? Christmassy in no. Hollywood. It's like Because it was like 83 degrees here in Los Angeles today, and there are times when I've covered it. I've been covering it since 2003, really? and there are times in which it's cold, even a little bit of rain. I think this is the warmest I've felt. I've done it uh, for a number of years, not last year, because we didn't do it last year. But that was the first one I'd missed, I guess, in about 10, 12 years. Okay. And the great thing about it, you know, it's one of our ways of giving back. We missed everybody, and yeah. we're so glad to see you all back. Yeah, this is what we like, you know, being out. And the people on the, the route, people come, it's free for them to come and sit and watch the parade, enjoy it. And especially the weather's nice now, you don't have to bundle up. And we're oh, all here for Toys for Tots, the Marine Toys yes. for Tots, because we want every child to have a gift on Christmas morning. I've been a part of this parade now for like the last 10 years, and, and part of it because, you know, I've helped do the segments around, you know, General Laster and the Toys for Tots. And I want to remind people that, you know, there is 
as much as we are so excited to be out and about, and everybody's so thrilled to be out here, there are families that are hurting right now. Kids that'll go without a toy. If it wasn't for Toys for Tots, who has sponsored this parade for many years now, so I'm proud to be a part of it. I am thrilled to be here. We, I mean, we missed it last year. Um, and this parade for me is, is the beginning of everything. It's the beginning of, of the season. So I, I'm thrilled to be part of it. Once again, everybody, I'm Eric J. Chambers, and this is a very Cali Christmas. Again, we're coming to you from the 89th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade here in Hollywood, California. You know, Christmas is a holiday that's celebrated by people all over the world. Have you ever thought about the origin of this holiday? Let's take a look. Christmas has become without question the most popular holiday in the world, especially from the economic standpoint. Billions of dollars worldwide are spent on gifts to celebrate this day. While to some it has taken on too much of a secular vibe, we all know that Jesus is the reason for the season as we celebrate his birth. Biblical scholars believe that Jesus was actually born sometime in the spring, perhaps in March, but in 320 AD it was Pope Julius I and other religious leaders who specified December 25th as the official date we commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ. And five years later, in 325 AD, Constantine the Great, the first Christian Roman Emperor declared December 25th as the immovable permanent date that the Christmas feast would be held. When first established, Christmas was to be a prayerful observance. Christmas actually means Mass of Christ, which was later shortened to Christ Mass or Christmas. Some have abbreviated Christmas even more to Xmas. Does that mean you're taking the Christ out of Christmas? Actually, the abbreviation was first used around the 16th century, and it's not an attempt to take the Christ out of Christmas as some have suggested. You see, the first letter of Christ's name in the Greek alphabet is X, or Christos. The X and Mass combined equals Xmas. With that said, be mindful that Christ is the root word for Christmas. Without Christ, there is no Christmas. Well, it's time for a station break, but when we come back, we'll go to the video vault and hear some celebrities share some of their fondest childhood memories. Including Stephen A. Smith, Shawnee O'Neill, and J.B. Smoove. Hi, this is Eric J. Chambers, host of The Jazz Bowl on Smooth Jazz, KIFM 98.1 HD2 San Diego, inviting you to tune in every Sunday morning from 8 till 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on KIFM.com. Hear Kirk Whalem, Yolanda Adams, Howard Hewitt, Fred Hammond, and more. And if you have a smart speaker, just say play Smooth Jazz KIFM. If you like jazz and gospel, you'll love The Jazz Bowl. Check out our playlist and replays at thejazzbowl.com. Merry Christmas! Along the way. <laughs> yes. I'm your trusted train conductor here to give to you the third element of Christmas. Now, if you had togetherness, wonder, 
that the most important element is, of course, good cheer. Can I get a little good cheer from this car? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> well, Santa does not quite have enough magic to fly his leg. So be sure to let Santa know the three elements you learned tonight. Can you do that? Oh, thank you so much! Well, from everyone here at Steam Engine Springs, happy, happy holidays. Thank you. But those were some beautiful scenes from the Night of Lights at the Orange County Fair in Costa Mesa, California. Once again, everybody, I'm Eric J. Chambers, and this is A Very Cali Christmas. Thank you so much for tuning into the program. Once again, we're coming to you from the 89th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade here in Hollywood, California. Let's return to some of the festivities. And joining us right now in the program are two treasures, not only for America, but for your world, Billy Davis Jr. and Marilyn McCoo. How awesome is it being a part of tonight's festivities? Well, we're so happy to be here tonight, and, and we're so excited to just share with your audience that, you know, we have a, we have a product, a recording that has come out after 30 years of not being in the studio. Yeah, you know we're excited. After 30 years, I mean, <laughs> just to have anything come out. <laughs> and it's called Blackbird, Lennon McCartney Icons. And we thank EE1, our label, and BMG, who, who is, uh, you know, who's promoting it all around the world. We thank them for the opportunity to do it again because it's been a long time. It has been. Yes. And it was produced by a young, a young Latino guy by the name of Nick Mendoza. Yes, indeed. Very, very. What's very different about this one? Well, actually, this this particular uh, 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 product is 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 done from a uh, standpoint of, of healing, healing the country because of uh, you know the blackbird was a song that, that, that Paul wrote for, it's like a civil rights song, yeah. you know. And, and, and so we took it, and, and, and especially during the protests and all the stuff that was going on, we took it and just said, uh, we're going to do some of the Beatles stuff and, and use it for healing the society. And joining us on the program is Danny Trejo, along with his little guest. Who do you Willow. have with you? This is Willow. Hey, Willow. <laughs> How cool is it being here, a part of the festivities? Oh, I love being here. I love being here. I love doing this. We, uh, uh, my friends, we always just put uh, a little pot together and uh, buy just a bunch of toys and just hand them out. They're nothing, no camera, no nothing. Just go down the street and hand them out to kids that are, you know, with their parents, homeless or whatever. It's nice for a lot of reasons. One, you know, we just had the year of a pandemic and now everyone's out, and Christmas is usually a pretty festive time, So, and the weather is good, so we really lucked up tonight, so it's, it's nice. And tell us about your role on, the, uh, on your show. All-American? <laughs> uh, uh, my role on All-American, I portray Grace James, who is a mother, a single mom of two, who's raising her kids to be the best men that they can be in the world that we live in today. I'd just like to say thanks for being out here to help us get the word out about what we do to help less fortunate children. This is significant also because this all started right here in Los Angeles in 1947. A group of young Marine reservists got together and collected toys and books and one of the Marines, Bill Hendricks, who started it, his wife made Raggedy Ann dolls and then on Christmas morning in 1947 they got into their dress blues and went out and gave them to less fortunate children. Well, my wishes to all the people at home is that we all be healthy, that uh, we be with our loved ones. Again, uh, it's been a rough year, two years almost, and we, we need to uh, hopefully get past all of this. So be protective, wear your mask when you have to, and uh, the uh, self-testing is very, very important now. fondest memories is just that I'm the youngest of six and so 
to be there with all my sisters and my, and my brother. He passed away in a car accident in 1992, but to be around all of them, growing up around all of that, you know, in the end, when you get a bit older, you know, instead of things, you appreciate people more and more and more. Well, I'm the youngest of 12 in my family, so my famous childhood memories are all of my brothers and sisters sitting around the Christmas tree singing Christmas carols. Everybody in my family could sing, so it was amazing. We used to actually go out and sing Christmas carols in the street for people, so those are my fondest memories from Christmas. Oh gosh, uh, a blue flocked tree. Um, we only got a tree because I love trees. I love decorations, so I had a bunch of boxes. They were empty. Some stuff had presents in them, but it was just making it all look beautiful. And my sister walked in at the very last minute and put a bulb on and was like, look what we did, Mom and Dad. I was like, so um, every Christmas was a wonderful Christmas. It, whether we had a lot or a little, I, it was my favorite time of year, always. You remember that stuff that you used to be able to spray on the windows to make like snow, like the puffy snow? My mother let me do that one year. And for some reason, that's my, my best memory. I went ham on the windows. <laughs> you know what? I think it is my, my baby brother's first Christmas. You know, I remember helping my dad put his toys together and, and all that kind of stuff, man. And um, that stuff you don't forget. Well, it's time for one more station break, but when we come back, we'll have more celebrities sharing some of their fondest childhood memories. And also, I want you to take a look at this. It's one of my favorite movie clips from one of my favorite Christmas movies, Best Man Holiday. All the perfect day. I know all that right, I can Lindsay. Count. I got it. I got it. When that's the possible. Stay tuned for more from Santa. Plus, we'll hear from Shaquille O'Neal, Tina Knowles, Jim Brown, and Sugar Ray Leonard. Hi, this is Eric J. Chambers, host of The Jazz Bowl on Smooth Jazz, KIFM 98.1 HD2 San Diego, inviting you to tune in every Sunday morning from 8 till 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on KIFM.com. Hear Kirk Whalem, Yolanda Adams, Howard Hewitt, Fred Hammond, and more. And if you have a smart speaker, just say play Smooth Jazz KIFM. If you like jazz and gospel, you'll love The Jazz Bowl. Check out our playlist and replays at thejazzbowl.com. To all the folks viewing the Cut Chronicle, uh, Merry Christmas. Okay, be good. Ho, 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 ho. Christmas, I really didn't, you know, get, get get a lot for Christmas, but so I mean, it, it just you know, just to be able to, uh, you know, give my kids whatever they want for Christmas is big. I didn't really get a lot. You know, just cooking the house filled with smells and sounds of Christmas. I'm from a very big family. We didn't have very much money, but we had a lot of fun. And uh, just all my brothers and sisters. I'm the youngest of seven. Being in a shack in Georgia and waking up with anticipation for my great-grandmother to play Santa Claus and to get those gifts. So it was my great-grandmother and I, and I was just a little boy, but it was great to look under there and know that Santa Claus was her. You know what, I remember when my, my dad uh, couldn't afford to buy Christmas presents and what have you. I re this is so vivid and that he brought home, because he worked at a supermarket, 
he was a night manager, he brought home fruit. And we cherished that fruit for that particular Christmas like it was the best thing in the world. Well, that's going to do it from the 2021 A Very Cali Christmas Special. I'm prayerful that you were blessed and entertained by the program. Meanwhile, I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. You can write us by going to the website, thecutnetwork.com. And also be sure to check out some of our videos on YouTube. Go to youtube.com forward slash Eric J. Chambers. And while you're there, please be sure to subscribe. Again, from the 89th Annual Hollywood Christmas Parade here in Hollywood, California, I'm Eric J. Chambers bidding you and yours a very Merry Christmas. So long, everyone.